Sciences. How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore. This is a Tesla Model Y. And let's go ahead and bulk the rear hatch on this. The way that I set this on here, because when you set it on here, all the fingers are pretty much going to be on the bottom. You know, this is laying down real nice and smooth, but you, this still takes a ton of stretch. So the way that I put this material on here is like this at an angle downward. So I, I'm only covering to here with this piece of paint protection film. It comes to about here, so it's off by about, I don't know, that's probably seven, eight inches. And over here, it's completely covering. And that's gonna be my placement to get this started. All right, so let's go ahead and what we're gonna do first, we're gonna tack to the headlight and tack to this rear quarter panel. All right, little tack solution in there and then we're gonna go ahead and squeegee some of this out so that this doesn't move while we're doing our stretch. All right, let's see. So this here is actually our spray bottle for applying uh, window tint. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of it. It's got uh, basically more soap in it than we would use for, uh, the window tinting has more soap. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use that here in this area to keep it from tacking before I'm ready for it to tack. That way we get some extra slip out of it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Well, let's make sure that none of this is tacked. We don't want any of this stuck. Otherwise, it's gonna make distortions in the adhesive. And that'll show up in the final product. I'm gonna stretch this this direction and then I'm gonna tack basically in kind of in the same spots as the other side. All right, let's go ahead and do this stretch. So what you see we're going to do is transfer a lot of these fingers to the top by pulling it this way and then we're going to be really really stretching it a lot from left to right. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get some. Okay, first, let's make this not open anymore. What was that, car wash mode? All right, a subscriber told me if you put it in car wash mode that won't open anymore and that looks like it's working. That's awesome. I could have used that years ago. All right, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of tack solution in here, kind of all over the place and get this ready. Now let's go ahead and do this stretch. All right, I'm gonna put my knee in that to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some squeegees here just to help tack that down. So let me tack this down and then we're gonna take a look and see if we've got enough stretch on this. Okay.
We're gonna go with that and see how it works out. Um, it seems like enough stretch. We'll find out uh, soon enough here. <laughs> All right, so at this point, once I've got it kind of stretched and tacked in place, you, the other thing is that um, it's much easier if you take the tail lights out, as far as I'm concerned, as far as like wrapping it in. And so uh, we may come a little bit here. The last one we did, we did take those out and I feel like it was helpful. So um, there's a video, I'll put it, link it in the description on how to remove these. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get this squeegeed out. So what I'm gonna start with is the top part as far as the squeegeeing goes because it's the part that's more visible. So we wanna get that down first. All right, let's get rid of some of these fingers here. So we're just gonna do a little stretch kind of up. Okay, I'm gonna tack this down. Oh. That is start that left a little silvering, so we're gonna need to pull this up actually and get rid of that. Yeah, I'm starting to pre tack. Okay, let's go ahead and actually just do run the squeegee across. This body line. Here we go. Okay. All right, let's trim out a little bit of this center to make this easier to work with. Tucking it in right here a little bit, and then I was releasing the tension up here so that wraps around that edge a little bit. All right, and so I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's like there's an air pocket right there that started to cure a little. And then when you squeegee the air out, it leaves just a little bit of like a thin layer of air in there. And then that is gonna leave what I call silvering underneath the material, and we don't want that. All right. Okay, so this area right here, we're actually going to put a little tack solution in there. And then we're going to push it down like this. That traps that in there, and then we'll squeeze that out. And the reason we wanna trap that in there is because when we squeeze it out, if it's trapped, we don't have to worry about it popping back up. Do a little uh, swipe and hold there. All right, let's get rid of this part and then work our way over to the other side. gonna go ahead and do is put a little stretch on it and just uh, glass that out we're getting some uh, water back down in there that's because this 
basically all the water that you put into this area is gonna continue to run back down here and pull up a uh, pool up so let's go ahead and trim a little bit more of this off and that will allow some of this to run out okay first things first let's get this stretched and in place Oh, what's this? Something black on there. All right, so we're gonna put just a little bit of stretch on it. Actually, it looks like it's gonna lay right down, so it doesn't even take much of a stretch. I'll squeegee this out. All right, and then that's staying down better than the other side was, so we're gonna leave that alone. We are going to put a little bit of tack solution right behind here. Okay, and something that we're gonna do to help hold this down. So we'll go ahead and squeegee that out. And then we're going to run squeegee up like this. And then kind of hold in a spot and that'll really make that spot tack. And then we can go ahead and squeegee this back out. Okay, now we shouldn't have any issues because there's tension downwards. You shouldn't have any issues with that popping back up. Now let's go ahead and take care of this area down here. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull it all back and take out uh, or you know add some slip solution for the pre-tacking that's been sitting there for a while. I kind of wish I had taken these out and it made this install a little bit easier, but uh, it's gonna be, it's a little late for that. So what I'm gonna do now is pop a little bit of this loose and see if we can get this to kind of form into that recess there. Still would be nice to have the tail light out, but that's looking really good. All right, so now we get a little tack solution up in there. Go ahead and bring this this direction. Oops, folded it over on itself a little bit. So go ahead and pull that back up and put just a little bit of tension here towards the bottom. So I'm doing a swipe and hold in this area to get this all to stay down. And actually let's do something else here, but something else that'll be helpful would be to get rid of some of this material. bring this stuff just basically this direction and then down into here yeah. 
All right, a little tack solution in there to help us get this down and have it stick right now. So I'm doing a swipe and hold into the recess between the tail light and the hatch. All right. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more of this squeegeed out this direction after we give this to me and after we double check and make sure there's no free tacking going on. All right, let's get some of this to come this way. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and relieve some of this tension here. Well, first I want to, uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's leave that there. Let's see how this goes with relieving the tension from the bottom. So this area that we tacked down previously, I'm gonna pop that back up. All right, that looks really good. Let's go ahead and get this area out and then we'll work our way down to here again and then we'll squeegee this over and then down. Get rid of some of the excess material. So what I'm doing here is you see the film's kind of got some tension in it this way. So what I'm gonna do is actually pull it this way just a little bit. Not a lot, because I don't want to create problems over here. Um, but if, well, let's see, what are we, how are we doing right here? Yeah, so just a tiny bit of tension to help this lay down and then we'll squeegee this out. All right, we got, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Actually, that was just a little bit of a, Soapy water left in there. Okay, let's go ahead and put some tack solution in here. Got a little bit of air trapped right there. I don't want to put too much pull out this way because it's going to create a stretch line there. So I'm just going to sneak my hand up. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and squeegee this down to here. Great, and then let's get this guy down. So I'm pulling this back just off the headlight, or I mean the tail light. I'm gonna put some more tack solution in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a swipe and hold into those areas. All right, let's go ahead and get this down. Just 
double checking to make sure that everything's stuck all in this this area on both sides looks really good got a little thing right here but i mean really that's almost nothing but let's go ahead and push that down and basically i'm just tucking it further in between the tail light and the hatch okay great so we're going to put some tack solution in here and rinse out all of this soapy water all right all right so there my first goal was to get it over this first body line now we're going to go for the second one Make sure that that stays down. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do a little swipe and hold on this edge. And I see I've left a little tiny bit of water in a couple spots, so I'm gonna go ahead. I lifted those areas up, and we're gonna do a swipe and hold and get those down. I'm just double checking for any water left in there. Now this piece here on the bottom goes back maybe three eighths of an inch, but it's pretty close to a quarter inch, maybe just a little bit more. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, is trim this off around the bottom. We're just gonna go ahead and wrap that under right now. So I'm gonna leave this at about a quarter inch below or hanging over and then that'll wrap and stick down. Go with the tack solution again. And then we'll go ahead and wrap this under. All right, so basically I'm just gonna be um, chomping this down. Okay, that edge is down pretty good. We'll go ahead and dry it out. Okay, feels good. All right, so we do need to get back up here and take care of the area that I was talking about earlier where the water's kind of pooling up. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. There we go. Right. So you could see there's a whole bunch of water in here. Oh, I should have pushed this down earlier. We're gonna have to put some hot water in there to help get rid of that uh, stretch line. All right, so this is just warm, warm water. 
We want to warm up this material so that we can uh, not have a a line right here where the material is stuck and where it is not sticking yet, where the water is still underneath it. All right, so normally, <laughs> if I wasn't recording this, I mean, I hate to blame you guys, but I would have never let this be like this because uh, I'd be paying better attention instead of paying attention to the camera. So, um, I mean, still totally my fault, but uh, let's show you how to fix it anyway. All right, we're going to need a little bit more warmth right here. I'm gonna go ahead and push out some of this water. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and Okay, uh, better but not great. It's gonna make me insane. So I'm actually gonna pull this material back to this line here and then all the way back to here because I'm not gonna be able to live with that. Yeah, I, I just don't like it. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and squeegee that out and see what it looks like. Okay, uh, that's like <laughs> totally better, uh, but this is a whole bunch of extra time that I don't wouldn't normally be spending on this, but it's what happened today. So, all right, let's get rid of, rid of some of this extra material so this water has somewhere to go besides just that spot to get out. I'm gonna bring this over just a little bit further to get it right on that body line there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of warm water to it to help relax right on that, where I lifted it up on that line. All right, let's get rid of some of this. All right, just for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of tack solution on some of this edge and do a 
a swipe and hold on it. Some of you were probably watching this thinking earlier when I said the thing about we need to take care of that water bubble, you're probably like, hey, you forgot that. Uh, yeah, that was makes it a pretty big mess later. Was anybody thinking that? <laughs> I know I was thinking that once I noticed it was still there when I was working, when we were working down lower. All right, but I must say, that looks fantastic. Like it, almost like it didn't happen. All right, we've got a little piece of hair right here, or it's a black piece of lint. Okay, great. Hmm, I've never done it like that before, but let's see how that works. Run, uh, round some of that in right now, and then we'll go ahead and go take care of the other parts that uh, need to get pushed down. Double check for water on any of the edges. Feels good. All right, let's pretend like that didn't happen and move right along. All right, so that was a little rough. That, that was a little rough. Um, but so if we if we'd finished up here, wrap this bottom and hadn't had the water up here that I had to go through and correct as far as having a lift line there, or not even a lift line. I mean, it was just a line from where it started to dry and where it was still wet and there was tension on it. So it creates a, a mark in the adhesive. But what we would have done then is moved right on to taking care of these sides here. So let's go ahead and, and move forward with that. So that's just a first trim. It's gonna to need to be closer than that. And then we'll get this all straighter. Uh, let me go replace the GoPro battery. Let's go ahead and give this a better trim here. Actually, what's up? Yeah, do your thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just let one, put one blade out and I'm gonna go ahead and trim right in between the tail light and the hatch. And spray a little tack solution in there and then we'll just push this down again make sure it's sealed real good all right are you looking at this barely okay and then we're gonna go ahead and trim this. We're gonna leave about almost a quarter of an inch hanging over. And then we'll go ahead and cut up. Go ahead and Put some rubbing alcohol in here, some tack solution, and then we will go ahead and take care of this side on the other side, and then we will finish everything off up here around the window. All right, so when I get to this edge, this corner here, I'm actually gonna 
um, trim it off, not straight back, but over this way. All right, and then as soon as we get past the light, we'll come down like this. And then we'll go back to trimming off. Up to a quarter inch hanging over. All right, let just start up here and work our way down. And then just so you know, this area here, since it was tacked here and there was some tension on it, you could just leave that area for a while and make sure it's completely you know, dry before you go back and start trimming this off. Um, with the tack solution that we use here, I'm, you know, I'm always fairly certain that we're not going to have an issue with it popping off. So I know that I can just trim it right away. All right, so now let's go ahead and work our way around the rear window. All right, let's actually, before we do that, let's get some rubbing alcohol or tack solution in there. And then push this down one more time. Great. All right, let's go ahead and cut out around the rear window. So I kind of did something a little bit different in here and I wrapped this down in, which you guys already saw me do, which I, we'll see how that works out. So normally what I do is I just let this material hang over the glass and then I take out like one blade or two blades and I trim right against the glass. We'll see how that works over here where I pushed it down. Mm, it's not trimming. We'll come back to that. So that's something different than I normally do. I, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. So let's see now what we can do about this in here where it's, you know, it's already kind of tucked down in. All right. That's not too bad. All right, before I start wrapping any of this in, let's go ahead and get this trimmed up here. Cause what I want to do is go ahead and open this and let all this water run out. So let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. And then right here at the very edge, I'm going to go ahead and cut right at the edge at a 45. And then we're going to cut, you know, just hanging over the edge here, anywhere from an eighth to a quarter inch. And then again on this corner, I'm gonna go right to the very edge and then cut another 45. Hmm. I can't get them off, there we go. Perfect, okay, let's put a little, that little corner was still kind of popping up a little bit, so let's go ahead and get a little tack solution on here. And give that a good press down. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna tuck this in. Let's go ahead and get the other side and then we can get this open, get all the water out that's rest, you know, just pooling up at the bottom of the glass here. All right, so look at this. We see this black stuff right here? That's what I found over here just when, as we went to go install this, or wait, did I pull it back and noticed it? There was a little bit there. We've actually taken a ton of this off a bunch of other panels. I have, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't, I mean, it, it doesn't come off real easy. I mean, you can get majority of it off pretty easily, but then it leaves just a little bit really stuck to the paint. Uh, this is something I haven't seen before from on a Tesla. Okay, so we're gonna do the 45 again. I'm not, it's not cutting, so let me get a new blade here. And just be real careful when you're pulling this back that you don't pop it off and pop way back into this panel here. Okay, so I've already kind of got a line in it. It didn't fully cut through. So that gives me a good line to cut on. And we'll go ahead and do this one out of 45 here. Let's go this direction with it. Okay, and then we'll just kind of tear it up. And then now it's basically just trimming off here and leaving that little bit hanging over. All right, again, we'll get that stuck down with a little bit of tack solution. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this now and release the floodgates. nothing else is hanging off and tacked to anything. So you can see all the water coming down here that's trapped in there and then we'll put a little bit of tack solution in there and then just wrap all that right over the edge into the glass. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this in now. So that first swipe basically will get it over the corner and then the second one will tuck it the rest of the way down. Again, let's go ahead and get that moisture out of there. Then we can kind of check that edge and make sure it's down real good. <laughs> I, I think maybe this thing had a broken rear window already. I don't know if you can hear that. There's something in there like tinking around when I open and close this. So I'm, I'm just guessing maybe that that's what those fingerprints all around the back of this vehicle were from or that what that black stuff was from is that maybe that was like a glove of somebody who was using the adhesive on this to put the rear window in because it's definitely some glass there's something in inside of this that's moving around in there Okay, let's take a look here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so uh, um, when we took care of this top, I went ahead and squeegeed over this edge, and I would recommend not doing that because the way that I normally do this works way better than that. And what I mean by that is that, let's see what you're looking at. Okay. So just leave it hanging over. Don't, don't tuck it in. Just leave it hanging over and then get your, get a blade and trim right at the, on the edge of the glass. You can just run your blade right on the edge of that glass and cut the material. And that gives you a really nice straight line. So you're going to have the same, uh, wrap length on everything. And then you can just tuck it right in and you don't get a jagged edge or anything. Uh, I would definitely choose that again next time again. I go back to that. All right, so we've got all that down. That looks really good. Let's go ahead and take care of these wrinkles here and get those, that area pushed down so we don't have to worry about it popping up. This is another thing that would have, you know, if we would have kept this closed and kept this on here for a while, this would have all stayed stuck down really well. Maybe we wouldn't have to be wrapping this like this right now. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of these little fingers here and make sure that we don't have an issue with them coming uh, onto the top of this panel. So I'm gonna do a little wrap and hold or swipe and hold. Okay. All right, great. All right, so everything's staying down real good. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up and we're just gonna let this dry like this for a while. You hear that? Listen to this. All right. There's a bunch of glass or something in there. Okay, so we're gonna let this just hang out for a while and then we will come back and wrap all that into place and that will be complete. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, only thing that's gonna be left to do is going to be wrap these edges as well as uh, go back and heat seal all the edges in the end and we're good, so I appreciate you taking a look. Uh, if you found anything helpful, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.